Hello friends, in this uh, tutorial, we'll try to see how do we convert a red dash representation to a future projection. Now, when we say a red dash representation, so we uh, show a molecule like this. This is a wedge. The darkened triangle would be a, 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 a wedge, and this is a dash. This would mean that the bond is coming outside the plane of the paper, uh, or in this case, the screen. And this bond is going into the plane. The line which are straight uh, represent the bonds in the plane. So basically, we are trying to represent a tetrahedral molecule with the help of wedge dash and the standard straight lines. Now, how do we convert this wedge dash into fissure? Fissure is another way of representing a three-dimensional molecule. Now the rule goes something like this: We'll have to view the molecule in such a way that the bond appearing on the vertical line should be moving away from the observer. For example, if you imagine yourself position between Cl and NH2 and if you view the molecule from here, these are the bonds on the vertical line and they are moving towards, they are moving away from you. So it's a correct way of seeing the molecule. So if I see from here on a vertical line, what do I see? On top I see CH3, so I write CH3. Below there is OH, so I write OH. To my left hand side I would have CL, this is CL, and to the right hand side would be NH2, the amino group. So the central carbon, the, the, the carbon at the junction of a vertical and the horizontal line is a carbon carbon, right? So in this way we are converting the wedge dash into a pusher projection. Now let's take a second example. Now in this way, in this uh, by by following the same earlier logic, we should be uh, able to write a pressure projection of this molecule. Now the way in which we see it, 